Welcome and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on Jesus bearing his fruit in us. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Put to one side the events of today as you ease out the tension in your body. Come now, as you are, to hear the word of the Lord. This is the place to be still before God, allowing him to fill you with his awesome presence and infinite love. Creator God, you made the earth and filled it with your goodness and your glory. You made me too and I pray you would bear your eternal fruit in my heart and my life. Jesus says in John 15, 4-5, Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself, it must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. A gardener spends the day pruning vines and piling up the cut-off branches. They will never bear fruit again. The gardener never checks them to see if they've begun to sprout a harvest of grapes. Only branches that are connected to the vine can do that. Even the largest, strongest branch is fruitless the minute it is separated from the vine. The vine is the source of its life. We are all just branches. It is Christ who is the vine. He is the source of the life that we need. He is the source of all the fruitfulness in our lives. It is he who gives us love for the unlovable, peace in the midst of turmoil, patience as we endure seasons of waiting. Our fruitfulness gives glory to Jesus because it is nothing less than his life flowing through ours. Have you been striving, straining to bear good fruit? Cease striving tonight and come to rest with Jesus. He will live his life in you as you simply come. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in and out and in and out. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, forgive me for trying to work out this life in my own strength. I have listened to you say I cannot bear fruit without you. So come, Lord, come. I don't want to do anything on my own anymore. Lord, 
Lord God, thank you that you are the gardener in my life, making me more fruitful, blooming with color and joy. The process may not always be comfortable, but I trust everything you are doing in me. Paul writes in Philippians 1, 9-11, This is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you make me so much more. You give me real love, real peace, real wisdom. And it is all your gift. I cannot make myself more like Christ, but I can open my hands to receive all you are. Fill me, Lord God. Fill me to overflowing. Amen.